Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful week. I've been absolutely obsessed with Final Fantasy XIV and most recently discovered how addictive the Gold Saucer is. I also want to save up my points for the elusive 1 million points Fenrir mount. Of course, what a perfect time this was to be farming for the mount as we are currently a part of an event called Make It Rain. If y'all didn't know, during this event from July 19th to August 11th, you will earn 50% more MGP. With that said, I went out to find the best way to maximize your MGP gains during this event. I hope you all find these tips useful, and if you have any other tips as well, please leave them in the comments below. So, let's get started. Tip number one. One of the best ways to maximize MGP gains during this event is to pair up the 50% bonus with buffs such as the Jackpot and the Gold Saucer VIP cards. First, the Jackpot buff is only obtainable as a free company action. This buff ranges from 5% to a whopping 15% bonus to your MGP rewards. This can be paired up with the event bonus of 50% to make it a total of 65%. So, if you're not part of a free company during this event, it'll be quite wise to join one if you want to maximize your gains. Next, we have the Gold Saucer VIP cards. These cards also grant a 15% bonus to your MGP rewards and can also be stacked with a 50% gain from the event. These cards are obtained by doing Adventure Squadron missions that are part of your Grand Company. To unlock the Adventure Squadrons, you must reach 2nd Lieutenant rank with your respective Grand Company. This buff lasts for about 2 hours. Just to note though, you cannot stack the Jackpot buff with the Gold Saucer VIP card buffs. It has to be one or the other. Tip number 2. Did you know that in the challenge log, there is a gold saucer list to earn MGP? Well, if you did it, now you do. These objectives are relatively easy to finish, except for the gosh dang chocobo races. We don't talk about those. <laughs> the rewards for finishing each objective ranges from 1000 MGP to about 12,000 MGP weekly. However, the gold saucer VIP cards and the jackpot buff from your free company does not affect it. The 50% bonus from the Make It Rain event do. So, these are definitely worthwhile to finish every week during the event. I'll go over the best ways to accomplish these as we get further into the video. Tip number 3. Mini and Jumbo Cackpock Tickets The Mini is a daily lottery that you can participate in 3 times per day. This lottery is relatively easy to play. You purchase a ticket that contains 9 spaces, with each space numbered randomly from 1 to 9. However, 8 of those spaces will be hidden and 1 will be revealed to you. You get to select 3 numbers to reveal yourself, and then finally you choose one of the 8 lines to reveal the numbers. The sum total of those numbers will determine your MGP reward. The goal of this lottery is that you want to either get 1, 2, and 3, which yields a total of 6, or 7, 8, and 9, which yields a total of 24. This gives you the highest MGP reward based off of whichever spectrum you land on. What I normally do is, depending on where the first revealed number is, I'll usually select my three numbers in a Y shape. This allows me the best chances to figure out where the numbers are and to choose the lines accordingly to reveal the numbers we talked about. Ultimately, you can also use a solver that you can find online. Next is the Jumbo Cackpot, which is a weekly lottery that you can participate in once a week. You can purchase up to three tickets. You choose four numbers, one through nine, and the reward is based off of how many numbers you match. The winning number is drawn every Saturday. Even if you don't have any matching numbers, you'll still get a consolation prize. Phew. <laughs> Tip number four, gates. Do them. They are basically fate-like events but are in the gold saucer and they occur every 20 minutes. Depending on the gate event, you can earn a maximum of 5,000 MGP. And with the bonus from the Make It Rain event, that's a total of 6,000 MGP almost every 20 minutes. Of course, don't forget what I said, it depends on the gate event. If you're like me, I 
absolutely hate the Yojimbo or any of the main stage events because gosh darn it, I'm super bad at them. <laughs> Tip number five, ignore all other mini games aside from Out on a Limb. This mini game, which can be found in Minion Square, yields the best reward based on time spent and difficulty. Not to mention, this will also help you finish the challenge log much quicker while gaining the most MGP per game. When playing this mini game, I typically go for the Morble or the Cactar. Cactar is relatively slow, so you can be more accurate with it, but if you're pretty skilled at the game, Morble is usually better in terms of turnout. But really, either one is fine because they're only about a hundred MGP difference. So go with the one you're most comfortable with. I usually go to about the third or fourth double down, depending on how much time I have left. I won't double down unless I have at least 17 seconds or more though, because if you don't finish the mini game, you lose all your progress. But snacks, what about the Titan? What about the Titan? Screw the Titan. <laughs> Tip number six, triple triad. Triple triad can be very addicting, but can also be a head scratcher I I definitely don't rage at Triple Triad. <coughs> Anyways, the whole point of playing Triple Triad is to complete your challenge log objective. So naturally, you want to find an NPC that is the easiest to beat. I find the easiest ones you can beat are in the Gold Saucer, one of which is Wyra Greenhand's Liga in the Battle Hall, which can be accessed via the Duty Finder if you have that unlocked. If you don't, you can do the Triple Triad Trial Quest to unlock it. If you don't have the battle hall unlocked, Jonas of the three spades in the triple triad hall is also relatively easy to beat. I usually just go with the recommended deck and am usually able to beat them in about 30 seconds or less. What's great about these are, you can also earn cards from them to sell to the triple triad trader. However, the bonus does not stack with the MGP earned from selling cards. Tip number seven, play Lord Verminion in Minion Square. Yes, I know. Gross. I <laughs> I honestly dislike this mini game a lot. But I come to you with a solution. Trust me, it's really really easy. We're also doing this because it easily completes the objectives for the challenge log. What I suggest you do is play and unlock the easiest Verminion challenge, which would be stage 4, Little Big Beast. You basically just summon and spam the highest puppet minion or if you have a wolf pup with this, you should be able to defeat the Gubu in less than two minutes, easily clearing the challenge log objective. See? Yeah? Not so bad, right? Well, except you have to unlock that first. Okay, bye! <laughs> Finally, tip number eight. It's time to look fabulous. That's right, are you ready to strut out with the best looking outfit to impress your friends, community, your dog, or even your cat? Well, at least in this case, the mask rose. Well then, get ready to participate in the Fashion Report, a contest in which players can display their knowledge of fashion and glamour every week beginning on Tuesday. Throughout the week, the Mask Rose will give out various hints that allow the players to try and guess that week's best possible outfit. Judging begins on Friday, and that's when you'll find out whether or not you're fabulous or not. <laughs> However, if you're like me, who doesn't have a sense of fashion whatsoever, please go give Kayoko Star a follow on Twitter. They so kindly post every week what you need to wear to achieve at least the minimal requirement to win a reward. I was able to purchase all the outfits and die at a relatively cheap price off the market board and was able to score that minimum 80 points to get the 60,000 MGP, plus the event bonus for this month. There's absolutely no reason you shouldn't do this. To unlock and begin your fashion journey, if you haven't already, all you need to do is go see Loana in the Gold Saucer, which gives you the passion for fashion quest. So go out there and be fabulous. There you have it. Eight tips that will most certainly help you maximize your MGP profit during the Make It Rain event. If you have any other tips that I may have missed, please go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified for more videos. If you want to see more FF14 content or any other games from me, I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 1pm PST. With that said, I love your face and I'll see you on the next one.